Hey guys, so that might give me back here for the video. Guys, today we're gonna be talking about the top five cornerbacks in Mutt 21. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to explain this to the best of my ability because everyone's top five will be completely different depending on what you classify a good cornerback as plus what archetype you want to actually use. So for example, you could be a strictly zone coverage type of player. So better zone would be better for you a zone type player. A man to man player would be better for you if you run man a lot, maybe a slot guy, a hybrid guy, that kind of stuff. But today guys, how we're gonna pick our top five is based on a couple categories. Speed, man, zone, press, and block shed so i want not only a speed cornerback i want a physical run block shedding cornerback i want a coverage cornerback and i want it to have good coverage in man and in zone so i have i i want to go ahead and pretty much hit every single category on that list that i'm just mentioning now so hopefully that makes sense guys let's go ahead and get to number five number five is Dunta Robinson. Now he is 97 speed. If you do power him up, he has 98 speed. This man is an absolute goon. 73 block shed. Again, like I said, can't be powered up to 74 block shed. And for a cornerback, that is pretty freaking amazing, man. He also, if you do go ahead and max him out with a uh, lockdown, he gets up to 99 zone. He also gets 99, sorry, 99 man and 99 zone and 99 press. He also has 97 acceleration. Again, if you power him up, 98 acceleration. You can put sprinter or ball load in this guy, get him up to 99 acceleration, 99 uh, speed. This card is an absolute monster. Definitely recommend him, especially because he has 88 hit power. Tell me how many cornerbacks have 88 hit power, man. If unless you're talking about safety, this is a cornerback with that who's gonna lay that kind of boom. That's an automatic W, guys. Number four, Darius Slay. Darius Slay, this man is gonna give you the same concept the last man gave you. 86 hit power. He also comes in at 97 speed, 98 speed uh, powered up, 97 acceleration powered up, 99 man. If you power him up, you can get up to 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press, 93 jumping 94 if you power them up of course and 83 catching so again like i said guys i'm looking at block shed run defense he's gonna have 86 hit power he's gonna be able to have a little bit worse tackling than our last guy but he's gonna have 72 block shed which is already very nice he's gonna go ahead and give you 83 catching which is decent i mean i don't honestly anything above 75 is gonna catch everything and he has the speed and coverage ability you want in a cornerback. Again, like I said, if you guys are noticing that how I'm also setting up this list is I have different players, archetypes based on, on each position. So for example, we have some man-to-man -man players here. We have some zone players, some slot players, you know, some hybrid players. Trying to get a general gist of these are the top five corners in Mutt. But again, these are just the five best corners. You can rank these guys in any way you want, uh, starting from the best to the lowest. This is just the five best players. I'm ranking them in a particular order based on their stats. Let's go ahead and get to number three. Number three, he's an OG. You guys already knew it. Night Train Lane. And this card is an absolute goat. So powered up, he can get up to 98 speed. If you don't power him up, 97 speed. Still good enough. Uh, he has 73 block shed, 88 pursuit, and 95 hit power. Talk about laying the wood, my man. Talking about laying the wood. 95 hit power, 82 catching. He also does have 92 zone, 96 man. So he can get up to 97 zone, 99 man, 97 or 98 press. He also can get up, like I said, 98 uh, speed and 99 salvation. So this card's an absolute monster. His hit power definitely pushes them up the list for me. Uh, Night Train Lane cards always just play amazing no matter what. I think it's just how EA does their system as they always have Night Train Lane cards just looking absolutely amazing. But again, an absolute goat right here, guys. He is number three. Guys, number two, Brent Grimes. Like I said, guys, I'm going to repeat myself a million times this video. He has no hit power, very bad hit power at 73, but he has 75 block shed, 
96 speed, 96 man, 96 zone, uh, 95 zone, 93 press with 86 catching, 87 spec catch. I'm going to repeat myself because run defense, coverage, and general speed. That's all we look at here, guys. Now, this guy actually does have man-to-man, uh, -man, so he's more of a man-to-man -man player. If you guys are new to Mutt, how that me what that means is that if a guy has man-to-man -man coverage or man-to-man -man, uh, ability, or archetype that means he's going to go ahead and actually uh get he's going to cost less ability points on man-to-man -man ability so for example uh short route medium route deep route ko uh one step ahead it does not have impact at all but again yeah short medium and uh deep route ko he has one less ability point he costs because he's a man-to-man -man corner um but overall like i said guys another concept Great in the run support. Great when it comes to pursuit. Great coverage ability. Great speed. If you power him up, he has 99 speed. Powered up with Waller or Sprinter, 99 speed. That is already glitchy enough. With lockdown, you get him up to 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone. That is so freaking broken. Number one, limited time, Brian Poole. Let me show you this. 80 block shed not only 80 block shed 87 hit power this man and he has 85 tackle this man is the best run support cornerback in the game and if you power him up you can get him up to 99 speed 99 man and 99 zone so imagine you have the fastest 99 speed cornerback with 99 man 99 zone and he already is going to have 80 block shed. He's going to give you 87 hit power at cornerback with 85 tackle. What more do you want from this man? He's going to lay the lumber. He's going to be able to cover like a madman. He's going to block shed a wide receiver instantly. And he's going to be able to make the tackle. This man right here is honestly, in my opinion, the best cornerback in Mutt. Um, now, obviously... Again, how many people rocking the Jets t team or theme team or whatever. Uh, but if you have not checked out this card, definitely go check it out. It's actually one of the new, newer limited edition cards. And at literally one side of the game, I know a lot of people did not love it. But if you look at the stats, this card's an absolute monster. He is 5'10", which does definitely beg a question here. But again, height has proven many times when I've used Steve Smith and Orr that height does not matter in Mutt. Weight matters, but height does not. And unless you're going with a 400 pound, you know, wide receiver, this definitely would not impact much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.